What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If it is your first time touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. I told y'all yesterday I will be dropping my top 10 hat pickups of 2021 so far video today. And here it is. We have 10 hats to get into, so I don't want to talk too much, but make sure y'all show this video some love. Hit that like button, comment down below, and let me know what your favorite hats of 2021 have been so far. They don't have to be from Hat Club. They can be from anywhere. My fit is still sports world wherever you pick up your hats from let's go ahead and get into number 10 now there's a reason why i have so many hats like this the royal blue with the white dodgers logo on the front and the white button it's just a really clean look that i do not get tired of this one is a pink bottom it released on hat club kind of recently you have some pink in the side patch as well. This one has a raised body man on the back and like I mentioned, pink UV, white guts, but I have this same style hat, the royal blue with the white Dodgers and the white button and a green UV, a gray UV. So this one had to come in at number 10 just because I have so many of them. I would be lying if I said that it wasn't one of my favorite style of hats. Number nine is gonna be the Cubs Winter Fresh from the Hat Club Gum Pack. Adding the Cubs into the mix this time around with the Gum Pack was a great decision. The Cubs logo are more dynamic you can do more with the colors i love a yankees logo i really do i buy yankees hats all the time but the animal logo you can just do more and play around more with the colors and this one turned out great i love love that accent blue that they use for the circle around the cubs face the button, the brim, and you can also see it inside the patch. Not sure what the exact name for that color is, but it's like a wintry blue color. Those lighter blue accents on the hat just made everything else look 10 times better. Number eight is this Phillies hat from the Hat Club Sugar Shack collection. Now y'all saw me unbox this one yesterday. It was a part of the Sugar Shack collection part two. And the lavender hats, I have to say, were the best hats out of the Sugar Shack collection. Y'all can let me know if y'all agree or disagree down below in the comment section, but I think the lavender hats were the best hats. And this one right here, if you just get into those colors, let me let it focus for a bit, the light yellow and the pink on the front, blue, green, pink on the patch, there's a lot of colors on this hat and they are all well coordinated. It's not just two, three colors on the hat. That's very simple. This is like four or five different colors on the hat and it still looks good. They did their thing with the Sugar Shack collection. Whether you thought it was too bright or not, they really did their thing. Number seven is the Big Red Yankees from the Hat Club Gum Pack. I tried not to do too many from the same collection, but that Cubs Winter Fresh needed to be on the list. And this one needed to be on the list as well because this is my favorite red hat right now. I have not worn it yet, as you can see, but it is my favorite red hat. I have a lot of red hats in my duffel, more red than anything else. Gray bottom, keeping it very wearable. A little bit of yellow in the side patch 99 side patch that is one of the best yankee side patches i think we can all agree there black red and white batting man on the back tonal new era logo it looks just like the big red gum and aside from that it's just a really clean hat so this one had to make the list number six is this braves two-tone from the manolo pack i believe this one was called red clay because of the red uv this is a brown and navy two-tone really nice color combination and i remember a time where people thought you can never wear you know brown and navy and black together it was like a fashion faux pas it was one of those stupid rules and here you have it a hat that is brown navy and red and it looks great side patch has a little bit of peach in there manolo did a great job putting on for his city of atlanta the whole pack was fire and i did pick up a couple of them the unboxing is coming soon but this video had to come first so the manolo prado red clay number six we made it to the halfway point so if you're still with me make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and remember to comment down below what your favorite hats have been this year so far from any company let's go ahead and get into number five it's going to be this panicata dodgers hat that i picked up and i had to double check and make sure that this did release in 2021 and i was right so it's a two-tone the maroon bill now what really sells this hat my favorite part is that golden yellow dodgers logo on the front with the burgundy outline this hat just has like a perfect balance to it. The cream colored base, 
Everything about it is just real clean. And I heard from Instagram that there is Panna Cotta Part 2 on the way. So I can't wait for that. Green UV with a white sweatband on this one. So number four is where the list started to get really hard to narrow down. Picking 10 hats out of everything that I've picked up this year so far was already difficult. But at number four, that's when things started to get hectic. So coming in at number four, I have the Texas Rangers College crossover. It does look like a campfire. Let's just get that out of the way. But campfires dropped in 2020 and that collection was a big hit. So I was definitely looking forward to scooping up this one the white tee on the front with the black shadowing nice side patch gray uv campfires had a green uv this is overall just a clean hat i guess nothing crazy it's nothing out there but sometimes less is more you know what i mean number three is this yankees j tips two-tone from earlier this year it's a green and blue two-tone i think the color combination is really great on this hat then they kept it clean with the white yankees logo there goes the side patch batting man on the back and then it kind of has a nice surprise with the pink uv i love that not because it's pink but because it's just a little unexpected i've been reaching for this hat a lot recently which is interesting because when i initially saw the j tips two-tone hats i thought that my favorite would be the orange and green and it turns out that i actually really like this one for whatever reason it's just kind of been my favorite hat recently number two is another pretty recent release and that's the pirates from the moon rocks collection there's not much to say about this one other than that i love the color combination that purple and red it looks almost neon against the black it's a really really good looking hat the gray bottom keeps it wearable in my opinion i know some people think that these colors probably aren't the most wearable but i like them there goes the batting man and the side patch gray uv with the black guts i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one i'm just waiting for a pin that i ordered to come in the pin is like perfect for this hat so when that comes in i'm definitely gonna let y'all see that my number one pickup from hat club so far this year is the j tips cubs with the all-star game 1990 patch on the side this infrared hat with the light blue bottom I love colors and this one is perfect. Like that infrared goes crazy. It doesn't even, I don't think that cameras do it justice, not even video. On head, it just looks really, really good. I've been reaching for it a lot because it's nicer outside now and I can wear it a lot more. There goes the UV with the white guts. I know some people don't like the really bright hats, but don't sleep on them. You really might surprise yourself. So there goes my top 10 pickups from Hat Club so far. Let me turn it around this way so y'all can see the side patches. This was not an easy video to film and it's only been six months. I can only imagine my video for the end of the year. That one is gonna be really hard to narrow down, but we'll tackle it when we get to it. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show us more YouTubers some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.